Spitz. Best bill. 100%. Has to be. He just, he's a nutcase. He brings the life to the change room, to be fair. I've got to give it to him, but he's definitely the loudest. He's a nutcase. Followed not far behind, I would say, Donald Samuel. Samuel. <laughs> Has to be. Me. Yeah. He, when he, he, he knows how to get the crowd going. Like, he knows how to read the room very well, especially in the mornings. Uh, Knows when to play slow jams, knows when to play fast songs. Like, to be fair, I'll give it to him. AKA Hung Bona Beat. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not too bad though. Why well, it's not too bad? Dom Samuel. Yeah, that guy. 100%. He's just a man. He just does things to like get other people's attention. It's like if you're doing anything, he wants everyone to know what you're doing. Yeah, a joke out of it. Hundred percent. Yeah, Dom Samuel. I have to give it to him. To be fair. This <laughs> <laughs> a heavy. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I mean, this is debatable. Oh, you got, you got a couple. Uh, got a there's couple. a couple bad dresses, but. Um, See me, when I come to training, I like to be comfortable. So. Comfortable, bro. So I will come in, I will come in my Crocs, come in my little tracksuit. Crocs? I think Crocs are comfortable. If you're working Listen, they're comfortable, but they stay indoors. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You don't wear them out. But to be mean? fair, if we do, if we like, if I was to go out though, I'll, I'll definitely be up there with best dresses. It's just when I come into training. Yes. It's, it's suspect it's, sometimes. It's not, yeah. It's in, yeah. <laughs> but there is a couple more. There, there is a couple more to be fair, yeah. but I think just because we're here, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll take that one for the team. Yeah. yeah. Just on training days, just let's get that straight. Just on training days. I'd say Jack Bolden. There's a couple, you know. There's a couple. Keith uh, Watson. Huh? There's a, there's a couple. Keithy! Nah, Keithy is a child. I would say Jack Baldwin. Jordan Tilson, Jordan and Alex Tilson. Samuel. Yeah, they're the three most mature. They're the, they're the fathers of nah, the group. If you I'll take that. Hundred yeah. percent. I was. So, I don't think I should take it. I'm. No. Let me let me tell you why I don't think I should take it. Yeah. So, because I feel like when you sent us photos, yeah. I feel like I've got to let the people know what I'm doing. I've got to, you know, tell the people, show the people what they want to see. I don't really think I should take it because everyone does it. I'm going to keep right, it real. Well, let's, let's go through how you post. You post picture, Insta and Twitter, and the next day there'll be a video of your goal assist. And, and, then, and then I keep it moving. Yeah, so you're and the then most, I keep it moving. I don't most, understand what the situation is here. Yeah, there's no situation, nah. but you are the most active on social media. You can take that one. But, you know, you know, alright. <laughs> Scary. How could we forget yeah. Alex Yekovic? Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he brings my clip out. Oh, hey, that guy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you do not want to be you in know a room with Lambert. You don't want to be in a room He's the person you'll see in a horror movie. I promise you. And if he's coming, you're running the other way. Don't do me like that. No, you do. Don't do me like Everyone that. Everyone say you're living in another. Don't, don't. I can't believe this is big camera. You know, you're doing this to me. No, no. It's, there's believe. nothing wrong with living in another planet. No. But sometimes you just go to your different space this. in your head, which I would say Harry Payton. One hundred percent. He just Harry's not. A di I wouldn't say he's a different. Ooh. He does have. He does have. Mood swing sometimes, but I say it on a more frequent basis. It doesn't mean it has to be a bad. It doesn't mean it has to be a bad different planet. Like you could be on a happy, different planet. But that is wild, you know. You could be. You're on a happy good planet. Like that is wild. Like, you just go out to space sometimes and you come nah, back. I can't so, believe this. Yeah, it's not too bad though. I it's not a bad this. thing to yeah. be in a different planet. I actually can't believe this is happening. Some people need them to be unbelievable. I think the question is, who's always on the winning team? I feel like there's a mixture of Thank both. You. Allow it. Don't, <laughs> do don't 
sit back down. <laughs> sit back down. Nah, nah, nah. No way. Nah, um, I think there's just a mixture of both. Yeah, there's I don't really feel like there's like a person that's just always on the winning team. Yeah. You've always got a mixture, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I so think small sided small. games wise, yeah, there's a mixture, always. but with, there's also table tennis, there's also like little challenges. So, I, I don't really think there's a serial winner. Do you know what I'm saying in terms of that, but you know everyone has their fair share. I'll, I'll say that, hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, no, the gaffer has uh, really given me big belief this season, and he's trusted me a lot this season. And I'm just I'm grateful for how much he has like trusted in me, and I can't thank him enough. You know, so like he works countlessly hard on me and the team every day in terms of. Um, like personal things and team things like I've never had so much encouragement in my football career like he but like the belief is I've never had so much belief either it's just different it just feels like he like sometimes he doesn't need to even say much to me like he just look at me and I know like I know like we have that little sink and you just look at me and he's like T today's that day and I just know and I'm just happy that um that i'm repaying him with that uh, with the faith that he's given me you know the gaffer's given me so much confidence you know since i you know arrived here he's just told me to you know express myself play with confidence and you know play with belief that you can change games you can excite the crowd you can work hard for the team as well as you know bring the team up the pitch and i feel like it starts from him and you know it filters down to you know the staff and the boys but i definitely give you know all the credit to the gaffer giving me that confidence because you don't really see a lot of managers you know gravitate to the players as well as you know the gaff we have here so you know credit to him for you know showing me the light and I'm just you know following you know the good footsteps that he leads us through. Come down here and they've always been so supportive of me like whenever I play a game or train they always check up on me regardless and it's been really it's been really good in the 20 months that I've been here like um, they've never stopped supporting me because there has been uh, down times as well and they've been there through the down times and with the good times they're also still here so I'm very grateful and thankful for all the friends and family and the support from everyone else that's been behind me from the beginning so yeah. Um, to be honest I feel like I came here with a plan um, I didn't think it would you know go this well but you know coming here I knew that I had to work hard no matter what the situation was and you know, I'm just happy that things have gone how they've gone, but you know, things are not over. We've still got a lot of work to do, so I just hope to, you know, carry on with what I've been doing. Everyone involved in this football club, from the top all the way to the bottom, and most importantly, the players, the dressing room. Like, when you have such a good dressing room, it's so, it's so much easier when everyone's around you and they're so supportive. And I just think the togetherness about this club, um, this year has been different like it's just it's undescribable i couldn't describe it to you you just have to feel it especially when you're in and around the building every day you can just feel that togetherness yeah the boys are amazing you know they brought me and welcomed me with you know open arms and i definitely feel like you know with that you're only gonna you know bring success and you're only gonna feel confident on and off the pitch so you know credit to them for you know taking me in and you know hopefully i'm repaying them with you know what i'm doing out on the pitch I definitely feel like I've accomplished more than what I thought I could. If I'm being honest, I didn't really think I would, you know, hit the ground running, but I definitely feel like I've got a lot more to offer with what I can do and what, you know, I've been going over clips on with, you know, Don and, and uh, you know, people in the background working. So I definitely feel like moving forward, I can definitely do 100% more than what I'm doing now. Yeah, the 12th man, that's what I call them. Our 12th man, like, <laughs> they've got like a little song for me that it gets me going before the game, which is very good. And like, whenever I score, I always go to them because they also believe in me so much. And it's just good to give back to them, you know, something to celebrate. And that's what we're going to keep on doing, it, especially driving up. Um, the table this season so they always come they come to every home game and they travel far far to get to away games too so we just want to repay um, all their belief and support in us.